Hi, I'm Danny Zha, and I'm presenting Deep Hierarchical Planning from Pixels. This is joint work with Quang Wei, Ian, and Peter at Google and Berkeley. One of the key challenges in reinforcement learning is to solve tasks with sparse rewards. For example, let's consider a robot that's supposed to prepare a meal for us, but for that, it first has to drive to the grocery store and pick items off the shelves, and then uh, move all the way back to the kitchen and start operating with utensils, and then bring the meal to us. Now, this task requires millions of time steps, millions of motor commands that the robot has to reason about. And for humans, that's no big deal. We can easily break down such long tasks into more manageable sub goals and then achieve those through primitive actions. But despite large computational budgets, current reinforcement learning agents still struggle with these long horizons and they require much more intermediate rewards to learn successfully, let's say every few hundred decisions. And moreover, humans are not very good at specifying these intermediate rewards. It requires a lot of effort and iteration and knowledge about the problem that we actually want the AI to solve automatically. Reward specification is also prone to human errors and can lead to suboptimal solution if there are intermediate rewards. So how can we move towards learning these really long horizon tasks end to end from sparse rewards? Hierarchical reinforcement learning aims to break down complex tasks into more manageable sub goals automatically Several prior works have made progress on this challenge, but they are generally still limited by assumptions that make them not applicable to the general end-to-end -end reinforcement learning setting. For example, semantic goal spaces, such as in a navigation task, the top-down position of the agent. A set of pre-training tasks that are specifically designed to teach the agent skills that are then helpful for the downstream task that is more complex. Or assuming the availability of expert data sets of all the good behaviors that are needed to solve the task that then can be broken down and clustered into reusable behaviors. We introduce Director. Director is a hierarchical reinforcement learning agent that automatically learns to decompose tasks with sparse rewards into manageable sub goals. For that, it learns a manager and a worker policy that are both trained from imagined rollouts of a learned world model. Director exceeds previous methods on tasks with very sparse rewards, including complex 3D environments and high-dimensional continuous control. Director also learns successful strategies across a wide range of standard tasks with dense rewards, showing its general applicability. How does Director work? At a high level, there is a hierarchical actor critic that interacts with the environment to collect data that goes into the replay buffer. From the replay buffer, we train the world model, and the world model is then used to generate imagined rollouts to improve the hierarchical actor critic. These steps are continuously repeated throughout the learning time of the agent. To learn the world model, we use the algorithm of Dreamer v2 that learns a variational latent dynamics model. We first draw a sequence from the replay buffer that contains sensory inputs, actions, and rewards. The sensory inputs are encoded with a convolutional neural network into multiple discrete latent variables. The sequence of these latent variables is then predicted with a recurrent neural network that is also conditioned on the actions. And from the resulting recurrent neural network states and latent variables, we reconstruct the sensory inputs to obtain a strong learning signal. The whole model is optimized end-to-end -end using the variational lower bound so that the latent variables become easily predictable by the recurrent neural network while also remaining informative of the sensory inputs. Given the world model, director learns hierarchical behaviors by offline planning with the model from imagined rollouts that are predicted forward with the model and start at states from the replay buffer. Director uses three components for that, a goal autoencoder, a high-level manager policy, and a low-level worker policy. The goal autoencoder makes it easier for the manager to choose goals. It takes the recurrent neural network states, shown in green, that are both high-dimensional and continuous, and compresses them into a much smaller set of discrete latent variables through a simple reconstruction loss. The manager policy receives the current state and outputs a distribution over compact goals in the discrete space Z. From that, we sample a goal and decode it into the high-dimensional continuous vector that is then held constant for a fixed number of steps, for example, eight steps or 16 steps during training. The manager chooses these goals to maximize both the sum of low-level task rewards that are generally sparse, as well as the sum of low-level exploration rewards. For the exploration reward, we simply use the reconstruction error of the goal autoencoder at each time step, which we found to be a simple and effective solution for high-level exploration. The worker policy then simply receives the current state and the current goal and produces primitive actions to get as close to the goal as possible, as measured by a simple feature space distance. The low-level policy does not receive any task reward or exploration reward to show that the hierarchical mechanism really works. To evaluate director, we choose an ant maze environment. However, prior work makes several assumptions that we overcome here. For example, giving the global XY position to the agent, or providing a training distribution of goals and even dense Euclidean rewards. 
In this paper, we propose the egocentric antlase benchmark, where the agent only sees the first-person camera image of the 3D scene and proprioceptive measurements of the robot, such as joint angles, but no global position or top-down view of the map. The agent is evaluated simply through end-to-end -end reinforcement learning, and the reward is zero for all time steps except for time steps where the robot intersects with the goal at the end of the maze. We hope that this more challenging benchmark can be useful for future reinforcement learning research for sparse reward tasks and hierarchical reinforcement learning. We compared a rector on four different sizes of the maze, starting from a small maze to a medium, large, and to an extra large maze, where the reward is even further away from the start position of the robot. We find that in the smallest maze, even the original Dreamer agent that uses a flat policy that is not hierarchical can solve the task, whereas a low-level exploration mechanism, Plan to Explore, that also uses the same worm model, starts learning initially, but later on becomes too distracted by flipping the ant over in various ways, and thus doesn't learn to achieve the goal consistently. In the larger mazes, Director is the only algorithm that reliably gets to the goal, and we see low-level exploration and the non-hierarchical policy approach to fail. We also introduce a simpler benchmark, called Visual Pin Pad, that allows us to evaluate sparse reward performance without the complexity of 3D perception. Here, the agent controls the small black dot by moving small steps in all four directions. And the agent can step on the colored pin pads to activate them. The task is to find the correct order of activating the pads that then gives the sparse reward. If the agent makes one mistake within the sequence, it has to start from the beginning. At the bottom of the screen, the agent also sees a history of the previously activated pads so that the environment is fully observed. We find that low-level exploration works surprisingly well in this environment and manages to solve the pin pad with three pads and even have some learning progress with four and five pads. The policy without exploration or hierarchy in red only makes some learning progress on three pads and fails on the larger environments. And in contrast, director learns successfully on all four sizes. We've seen that director can solve sparse reward tasks where previous algorithms fail. But what about standard benchmarks where the reward is generally much more dense? We evaluate Director across a wide range of benchmarks, including Atari games, the Crafter benchmark, continuous control from pixels, and 3D DM lab environments. Even without giving any task reward to the low-level policy, Director comes close to the performance of the strong non-hierarchical algorithm Dreamer, while using fixed hyperparameters across all tasks. When additionally giving a small amount of task reward to the low-level policy, it approaches or exceeds the performance on Dreamer on these tasks. This shows that Director not only achieves high performance on sparse reward tasks, but is also generally applicable even to tasks with more dense rewards. Director learns intuitive strategies for breaking down complex long horizon tasks into manageable subgoals. For each environment, the left image shows what the agent does in the real environment, and the right image shows the imagined goal by the high-level policy. Now, these goals are abstract feature vectors, but using the world model, we can actually decode them back into images for human inspection and interpretability. For example, on the humanoid walking from pixels task, the manager directs the low-level through an upright pose and a shifting floor pattern that indicates movement, abstracting away the low-level details of how the legs and the body moves, which the worker fills in successfully. On the egocentric and maze benchmark in the bottom right, we can see that the manager steers the worker by targeting different wall colors throughout the maze, and therefore steering it throughout multiple checkpoints until it reaches the goal. We hope that director opens up many future research directions, and we see it as a simple starting point for discovering new hierarchical reinforcement learning algorithms. To find out more, check out the website at danisha.com slash director that includes the code, tasks, more videos of behaviors, and the Google AI blog post with animations. Thank you.